Yep, here it comes. First one. Oh, sweet. Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of Big Ton Plays Darkest Dungeon. Get underway here. Do a radiant run. No, just call it Big Ton Gaming. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. So good. That intro is so good. Sets the mood perfectly. So this is Darkest Dungeon. It's available on Steam. It's a side-scroller, RPG kind of style. Kind of roguelike a little bit. The characters experience permanent death. So it's more of like a sim type game where you have to like do resource management. So the uh, your roster of troops that you have are like a resource that are expendable. You don't actually play as them. You're like the mayor or the leader of this town or whatever. Alrighty. So we start out with you always start out with the same two guys, Renald and Dismas. You can actually rename the characters. So if you wanna have your name added to a character, just put a comment down below and uh, I'll be sure to get you in there. So each character has their own set of quirks. Some positive, some negative. Renald's got this kleptomania, which is a really, really bad quirk. He just straight steals stuff from you. So to move from room to room, you have to interact with this map right here. So we'll just move to the next Brigands room. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion that all may hear of your arrival. Dispatch him in brutal fashion and then I totally whipped. Chunk him for eight. You're gonna miss again. Good job. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. So if you didn't notice it before, while you're running through the dungeon, through the map here, you'll experience stress. That's kind of a permanent thing that you actually carry from dungeon to dungeon. So you have to do stress relief in the town. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. We'll just start laying into the big guy. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned. 
and their kind is no longer welcome. It takes up two slots. Each of your moves can only hit the area that it shows right there. So you can see it hits the first two slots, but not the la last two. First two, first two, and that's a buff that he can do on himself. So getting rid of this guy is very important because this guy's just gonna DPS you down. Ow. 10 damage, that's a lot. That was half his health. Good dodge. Good crit. Wow, 13. Probably finish him off. Yep. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Gotta keep attacking the corpse. Man, Dismas, you're on a roll. Annihilated. They can. When you complete the quest, you can leave right away. Or you can continue adventuring like if you didn't explore all the rooms. If you notice, there's a chest right here. Bandit's trap chest, it's always trapped. So, on this first one, it's just okay to leave right away. I made a little bit of money. Got some experience for it. He's got plus five range skill, which is good because I run. I usually run the highwayman as a ranged class. Ten percent death blow resistance. Negative stress in the code. Yeah, so you have to treat diseases if you choose to. Sometimes the diseases are really bad. Welcome home. Well, such as it all is. the time they're really bad. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. Stagecoach. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. This this is where you get your guys from the stagecoach. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. So you spend your resources here that you get from the dungeons on upgrading each one of the things. The next week, so like when I can run a dungeon and then get back here, when the roster gets populated, I'll have more guys in it. This increases our roster size, which we don't really need to do right now. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Yep, like in I time. You will know the tragic extent of my failings. I don't want to talk over the narrator. He's got such a good voice. So the graveyard is where your guys go. You can actually see like how they died and whatnot. It's a permanent record. It's like the narrated parts. You can go back and re-listen to them. So everything's locked right now because you got to successfully complete your first dungeon so we'll just go ahead and embark a mecca of madness and morbidity your work begins so when you depending on the order and the classes you pick sometimes they have some preset names that show up so we got Renald Dismas I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Looks like somebody fell asleep on the keyboard. We're gonna call him... Marcus. 
and we will call her um something like that so we got Madala, Marcus, Dismas, and Renault. So she's got Anemic, Nocturnal. So she has negative speed if the torch light's high, which is kind of bad because I like to run with high torch light. Stress relief limitations. All right. And she's only got the single target heal. And she's got her damage skills. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. I almost always over prepare for this first mission. Probably enough right there. Be curious. Be careful. Going into the runes. First dungeon is pretty easy. RNG though, so could die. Move on to the first room here. Got ourselves Wealth an unburnt measure. torch, so we'll keep our Awarded torch to light the up. And the fool alike. Get into our first room battle. Oh, they surprised us. So you see that party shuffle there made it to where like he can't use any of his skills. We're going to have to spend a turn moving everybody around. That well, looks like Dismas is okay. Go ahead and shoot the guy here. Good dodge. Go ahead and kill As that the guy. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. We'll just lay into this dude. Back to the pit. 75 gold. Default party order. Unlock strong box. Gems. Some food. Another shovel. Alright. So this you have to use the Even shovel. Even the on. cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Ah, got the surprise on them. So when you surprise them, all four of your guys get to go before they get get to go, regardless of what their speed is. So I'm gonna lay into this back row right here because they're the ones that deal stress. And stress you carry over to the town. Your health gets replenished at the end of the dungeon. So just try to kill her off. Throw a plague grenade. Light. So she's she's dead. So she'll at the beginning of her turn she'll take four points of damage. She's at four health, so she's she'll die. And I'll just lay into these guys here. So, this one hits both of them. You can see the red dots are attached. It means it hits both of those characters. So we might get a kill on this guy and deal damage to this one. There we go. There she goes. Dodge. Ah. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. So you need to collect the bus because that was those resources you need to upgrade all the stuff in your town. So 
I think I will go up, over, down, and back up. Or would it be better to go this way and up? It doesn't really matter. I think it's the same number of backtracking. Oh, that's not too bad. So... Anybody take more dam more stress than normal? I guess you can put it on anybody. Just put it on her for now. Oh, room battle. Oh, they surprised us with full torchlight. or are almost full. Just lay into the back row. I got an 18 stress. If you get maxed out on stress, your guy can have a heart attack and die. She's down to one. Not the, not the best move. Ah, got the bleed. Ow! Holy smokes, 12 damage. So if they crit you, it like stresses everybody out. We're gonna push him to the back again. Oh, pull them up. Hey, hey, we're back in order. Go away, you. Press this advantage. Stop stressing no my guy glory. out. Oh, resisted it. So we are going to do a little bit of healing. Heal ourselves. Six damage. So chunk into this guy here. Try to get rid of the bleed. Ooh, good dodge. Good dodge. Light him. Light him. Yep. Almost got him. Good resist. So... Oh! He whiffed! Good dodge. Man, he's nimble. Go away, you. I should have did the, uh, accusation. Just keep her on heal duty. Light him. Yep. And we'll do another heal. Trying to get a crit. Ah. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Stressing me out. There we go. Abomination cleansed from our lands. If seize this momentum, push on to the task's end. So if you get a crit, it relieves some of your stress. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Mora uh, has been in afflicted with sickness it must have been some rotting air from a coffin she insisted on piercing with her spade as terrible as this place is i know i will not fall for any trap nor crazed idiot i wager my lucky coin on it these are just little lore things eat some food to heal a little
Head up to the next room. Torchlight's good. Stressing out. Good dodge. You know what? I bet you, because it's only 90% of the rooms. Ah, stepped on that trap. Cruel machinations spring to life. Goodness, I'm just gonna With a have a death purpose. in the very first map. I guess I could have just skipped it, because I only need to do 90%. I could have just done these two here. Well, there's a big heal right there. It wasn't all bad. Just didn't want to use that. All right. Uh, just in case. Get it? Yep. Got the blight. All right. Seven and seven, huh? Three to seven. We did max damage on both of them. Get a kill on both. Maybe risk it? Almost. Gonna soak up all that damage. Ah. Might be able to get all three of them. Surges so as he's the enemy dead. Crumbles. Bye. This right. expedition at least promises success. So whoever you have selected when you interact is who gets the effect. I think it's holy water to get it. Yep. Stress relief and a big O heal. tile we're gonna continue adventuring our health's pretty good one more room get a little bit more money and use up some of these resources So the most important guy is this dude right here. He's a stress dealer. Doesn't really do much damage, but he deals a lot of stress. There it is. There's single and Marcus out, man. Good. Um. So he's got one, one away from dying. So we'll. Ooh, good heal. So it looks like we'll have to just lay into him. So we'll lay. We're just gonna keep doing damage to the back row. Eight. Aha! Uh -huh. Bye bye. Gently. This is how a life Good is dodge. taken. So we don't really need to worry too much about heals. So I'm gonna just go for damage the last fight so 
So we got a kill on him, so this is a good time to use because it hits both. Just kill this guy off. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Not too bad. Pretty good amount of gold. So we got plus two to speed, negative 10% health. That's bad. Stress in the Warren's not really gonna have to worry about that right now. He gets damage bonus and less stress. That's pretty good. Yep. You gotta upgrade that stagecoach to make sure that you have enough people just in case you got guys that die. Can you feel it? The walls between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. So we can now use the tavern and the admin. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. The caretaker will periodically show up in different places. If he's there, you can't put your guy there. People are kind of stressed out. Grab each of these guys. What better laboratory than the blood soaked battlefield? So we could put Marcus in stress relief since we have another one. Might be able to use him as a healer if he has it. Yep, he's got it. Cobwebs have been dusted, the pews set straight. The Abbey calls to the faithful. More stress relief here. I think the religious characters benefit more from it. Yeah, for, like for him, he will only pray, which is that one. Hmm. I think what I'll do is I will so what does he have for skills same exact skills nope so he's got the heal instead of the buff that's not too bad so good for keeping this torch light up lead resistant Changes colors. Give him that reddish. What is that? Courtney? Hmm. Yeah, if you guys want to have your names in the roster, just let me know in the comments. So, for this run, I think I will. Take Courtney and Lankwatot. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And then I'll put Marcus and Madala in for some re stress relief. I think Marcus wants to booze it up. Oh, wait. Oh, 
He'll only meditate. And I put her in meditation. So he doesn't get stress relief, so I guess I'm gonna be... SOL on him. I actually put her in the wrong one. I could cancel it, but that was a waste of a thousand gold if I do. Yeah, I think I'll just have him wait. Still gotta finish more another dungeon because some of this stuff is still locked. Alrighty, so let's grab Lancelot. Mixed bag. Kind of funny. So we can run... Scouting mission. It's 90% of the room similar to the first run. 100% of room battles. Got a medium apprentice. Another medium. I don't want to just do a, a short one so I can address the stress here. So, do I want to do explore or room battles? I think I'll do the room battle one. Well, let's see, what was the trinket for that? Town master. Pretty fetish. That one's a common. Yeah, we'll go here. Alrighty, so let's bring all the food. More torches. Grab two keys. A little bit of herbs. And a bandage. Probably not entirely sure if that's over pre prepared or not, so we'll see. You can retreat from combat and even abandon quests. Things are going terribly. Live to fight another day. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Already stressing out. And then he steps on a trap. I guess. Watch your step. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. Sometimes the curios are just not even worth it. Right out the gate. Whopping two. Thanks. Give me a dodge. I want to dodge. All right, shoot the back row. Light it up. Ah, that, that was. Yeah, outright trying to kill that dude. Marcus is like, what did I sign up for? So... Gotta do one point of damage to him for the kill. A little bit of damage for him. So I think I'll... Kill him. I get a good, good heal. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Pretty good. Yeah. Put the bleed on him, though. So I might be able to get the kill and deal damage. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Slowly, gently, this 
This is how a life is taken. Goodbye. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. All right, so did I bring a bandage? I did. Eat a little bit. bit of gold it's a trap yeah like these things that just stress you out room with a battle so if you successfully disarm it it's stress relief so I'm gonna try it with him. Hopefully he's successful. Good. I think you might be able to use a torch on those. Ah, uh, this... I don't like this setup right here. Light him. Yep. I'm just gonna lay the blight on these guys. Try to finish one of them off right in the beginning. So he doesn't really have any attack stuff. We'll just start healing. Come on, give me a good heal. There we go. 11. That was great. Another one falls. Good dodge. Come on. Not him. Good. Only two. That wouldn't be too bad. Three. Maybe a heal on him. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. All right. Keep it. Keep it on him. Dodge. Or not. He'll just miss. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Good heal. Gave him a bleed, though. can't bleed these guys because they're skeletons that don't have blood as the fiend falls a faint hope blossoms use a key on it and might get a hidden compartment a little bit of gold some gems another scout that's pretty good oh there's a hallway battle Need a shovel and a curio to interact with. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Gotta get rid of that stress. Light him up. Heal. Well, uh, should have shot him. That was a mistake. Is he dead? No. No bleed. Ah. No bleed. They're just laying it on. Ouch. Give me some stress heal. 
So he needs one point of damage. So he's dead. So he's dead. Good grief, they got it laid on. Good resist. I... Death by inches. I could have got the double kill on that one. Destroy them all. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. That was his quirk. If only treasure could staunch the flow of that compulsive right there made him loot that. I had no choice. Got a scout. Hallway battle. Two of them this time. This is gonna suck. Should have shot the other guy. Primarily heal with him. Executed One less to worry about. Light these guys. That's eight each. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. That play grenade is really good. Good heal. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. More busts. Man, his stress is so high. Hazards possessed by evil intent. The wound is starting to fester. The flesh around it is gray, flaking and rigid, almost scale like. As I write this, my breathing has taken on a hollow timbre and is more labored. My compatriots are laughing and tell me not to worry. It's just the salt mist in the air that pervades these caverns. This is a bad lineup. Two stress dealers and the little prop guy at the front. Just gonna try and kill off the back row. Good. Lost our play grenade. Got the bleed on him. Man. He's gonna end up freaking out. Good dodge. Plague him. He's dead. 
very stressed. Good resist. Good heal. Keep those heals coming. Not a whole lot he can do. Got hit with both of them. The pushback and the stun. Good dodge. Can I get a crit, please? Good dodge. He is very nimble. Might be able to get the kill. No damage on her. I think that was the best heal I've ever seen. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. The road to this damned hamlet was a tricky one, yeah. Both to find and to travel. When it revealed its ruined face, I swore I had never seen such neglect. Some buildings collapsed and uncaring residents fidgeting uneasily. I went swiftly to the tavern. Others with similar interest had gathered there and was assembled into a expedition, an expedition. We leave at first light on the morrow. Can I get rope? Oh, probably combine those. Take that, leave that note. Last room. This, oops, I need to redo my party. This guy's probably gonna have a breakdown in the middle of this. Yep, here it comes, first one. Oh, sweet. A moment of clarity in the eye of the storm. So he succeeded in his willpower roll. Another zero. He's dead. Good dodge. Be gone, fiend. I'll have to name you Gohan. Good. Finally, a decent heal. He's dead. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Last room. Of course not.
Marcus will heal himself. Good. Both of them get resisted. I'm gonna push him back. Resisted the stun. Executed. Nice stress heal. Resist. So he's dead. So nice. Blow. Try and heal up some more. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, stress heal. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. Gold. They can be beaten. Let's trade. Room by room, hall by hall, we reclaim what is ours. Pretty good amount of money. with cleanliness scouting bonus he'll never drink wasn't it wasn't too bad got a lot of stress on some of them the degeneracy of the hamlet is nothing I fear when compared to the condition of surrounding acres. So she got... She couldn't meditate, and now because she couldn't meditate, she got frustrated, and now she's got a negative quirk where she can't meditate. May not meditate while in town. All right, that's going to do it. If you like the video, click click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any comments, leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.